Welcome back to another CodeHS Python tutorial. Today we're tackling challenge 3.105, where we'll help Tracy the turtle draw a sidewalk around the entire perimeter of the canvas. By the end of this video, you'll know how to use top-down design to break big problems into smaller parts, create reusable functions with loops, position Tracy with precision on the canvas, Build a complete program using just 16 lines of code. Before we begin, make sure you're watching this video in 1080p for the best clarity. Click the gear icon, select quality, and choose 1080p. Need subtitles? Click the CC button. And if you prefer subtitles in Spanish, has click en doci y selecciona español in the menu de configuración. Okay, let's take a look at the instructions so we can better understand the problem. We need to draw a sidewalk made of squares that wraps around all four edges of the canvas. Each side of the canvas will have eight sidewalk tiles. The total width of the canvas is 400 pixels, so we'll divide that by eight. That means each square will be 50 pixels wide. For this lesson, we will be implementing a top-down design strategy to develop the program. To do this, we'll break this project down into two smaller tasks. The first task is to draw one square. The second task is to draw a line of eight squares in a row, then turn the corner. To do these tasks, we'll write two functions that will do just that. Step one, draw a single square. Each square is made of four equal sides. Here's how we define that. Def draw square for I in range four, forward 50, left 90. This function makes Tracy draw a 50 pixel square using a loop, simple and clean. Step two, draw a sidewalk row now let's make Tracy draw eight squares in a line, then turn to face the next edge of the canvas. Def draw sidewalk, pen down, for I in range, seven, draw square, forward 50, pen up, forward 50, left 90. Let's break this down. Tracy draws seven squares in a row, then moves forward one more time to reach the corner and finally turns left 90 degrees to face the next side of the canvas. Why seven squares and not eight? Because after the seventh square, the final forward 50 puts Tracy in position to start the eighth on the next side. Step three, positioning and looping around the canvas. Now we set Tracy to the bottom left corner of the canvas, pen up, set position, 200, 200. And then we tell Tracy to draw the sidewalk on all four sides using a loop. For I in range, four, draw, sidewalk. This loop repeats the draw sidewalk function four times, once for each edge. Now hit run and watch as Tracy draws a perfect sidewalk all around the canvas. If something doesn't look right, double check the turn angles. Make sure Tracy starts in the correct corner. Check your loop values. The row has seven squares plus one forward move. Want to take this to the next level? Try changing the square size and adjusting the math. Add color using the color and fill commands. Draw a sidewalk with alternating tile colors for a cool pattern. Let's recap. In this lesson, you used functions and loops to simplify repetitive drawing tasks, practice top-down design to break down a problem, calculated tile size using canvas dimensions, used positioning and turning to draw a complete shape. Awesome work. When you're done, make sure to save and submit your work in code HS. If you found this helpful, give it a like, share it with a classmate, and check out the next video. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.